Good afternoon, YouTube. PPS here. Um, we're on the 28th of December. Um, back here for another YouTube play of the day. Um, going with another NBA prop. Um, but let's recap yesterday. We did get the reverse sweep. Um, we got the two things that really going to cost centers, right? Blowouts and foul trouble. Rudy Gobert had 14 rebounds, I believe, and barely played. He got in foul trouble early. Um, first half, yeah, it was tough to see. Whiteside got a lot of run. Um, but, yeah, missed that one by two. Um, again, if he played that 34 minutes that I projected, I didn't see an issue with it. But, obviously, foul trouble is going to happen. It's it's something that you can't really cap. Um, and then a blowout. Christian Wood, um, one, one of the weirdest stat lines ever was he went off first quarter, didn't do anything second quarter, goes off to start the third, and then they don't play him in the fourth. Um I just, yeah, this Rockets team is tough to read, man. I, and I'm just keep getting the, the shitty end of the stick um, on that side of it. But it happens. Um, that's what makes NBA tough. COVID times make it tough. Um, Green and Porter both ruled out, I think, hurt the front um, or hurt the backcourt a little bit there to keep the game closer. Um, but but it was a fun game. Um, but we're on to today. I'm actually going back to this Rockets team but fading them. Actually, I'm going on LeBron James points, rebounds, assists over 44 and a half. Um, I'm seeing 44 and a half on most books here. Um, and I'm seeing around minus 110 everywhere here. I like multiple of his lines today. Um, 44 and a half. Um, yeah, it's Bet Rivers is the best one there with the minus 110, but I like a lot of his options today. I, I think LeBron goes off today. 28 and a half points, I think, is a good line. Um, I think eight and a half rebounds is a good line. I think six and a half assists is a good line. I like all of them. I like them all together, obviously. Um, and here's why. Uh, since Davis has been out, he played 40 minutes in his last game for – got 55 points, rebounds, assists versus Brooklyn, 51 versus the Spurs in 35 minutes, 43 versus Phoenix, who is a top two defensive efficiency team, um, 51 versus Chicago. Um, so we've been seeing a three out of four games. The only game he missed was against a very good Phoenix team, and that was also an 18-point blowout. Um, and we're seeing a good total here, 224 and a half, two of the top five teams in pace, um, and a nice 5.5 point spread. Um, Porter and Green will be playing today. Wood didn't play much last night, so I do like them to be able to compete here as well lakers are the number one team in pace houston is number five um and houston is also the second worst um um second worst in um defensive efficiency so we're gonna see some points here but the thing that that doesn't scare me off a ton here is that the lakers are 26th in the nba in offensive efficiency so i don't really see them blowing these guys out um they really 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 haven't um shown me too much you know that that really has me much for concern of a blowout here obviously they have lebron um but i don't i don't really think they're gonna blow these guys out um with no davis davis versus wood would have been a fun little matchup there but you're rolling pretty much talon horton tucker lebron and russell westbrook three on five pretty much i mean the the rest of this team really doesn't do too much uh, malik monk might have a, a decent day off the bench but the Rockets actually, I think, are deeper, which is tough to say. I like Eric Gordon here. Um, I think Eric Gordon has a nice night um, overall as well. Jalen Green back should get his allotment of minutes of 28 to 30. Um, and and I, I think the Lakers do win, but I think it's close enough that LeBron gets his minutes here and some run. I um, believe they will be on – let me check if they will be on national TV tonight. Let me take a peek there because, obviously, if LeBron is on national TV, I usually like to ride with him. Um and I do not believe they are here. So, um, to, like I said, now that the over has actually moved up to 225 and a half, um, even more. Yeah, I like it even better. So, really like the Bron James here tonight. Um, and I really, really, really like to see um, this Lakers team take control here and take this win here for a pretty fun matchup here. I think it's going to be a fun game, 225 and a half. Uh, should be a fun one. So, Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, pass the prop. I'm going to have to talk to Monto. It might be a little bit later tomorrow. I have a few things going on in the morning. Um, but, yeah, getting ready for this bowl season day. ton of games today. So, very excited for tonight. So, thank you guys so much. We'll talk to you tomorrow. 
Um, and we'll get you some more props tomorrow as well. So thank you guys. Peace.